Hi, I'm Eric Elliott. A while back, I made kind of a crazy claim that AI-driven development could save you 10 or 20x on your productivity time. And um, that might seem a little bit outrageous, especially because GitHub recently announced a study a, a few months back, uh, shared a study where they showed that developers who used GitHub Copilot were about twice as fast um, as those who didn't. Um, so you might be wondering, where am I getting 10x, 20x? And that's a lot more uh, productivity savings uh, or productivity boosts. So let me show you how that works. All right, so I've written this program called Autodux. It's a pseudolang program, which is designed to run inside of uh, ChatGPT. So we can just copy this, go over here to ChatGPT, paste it in. And um, as you can say, see, this is kind of a pseudocode, but you can see it uses natural language. Um, and then the, the code part is basically just some structure around that. And doing that can actually really increase um, the, the reliability and the correctness of the responses. And uh, it also helps you constrain the responses, right? So that you get pretty much exactly what you ask for. Um, so let me demonstrate what I mean by that. We're just going to type forward slash help and move video a little bit so we can kind of see that better. Forward slash help, press the button. All right. So here it's showing us how to use the program. It's showing us what we need to supply to make it work. And then as it's going, um, there's some things that some things that I want to point out. The infer function is used to tell Autodux to generate a value based on the information in the Dux object. So in other words, everything that says infer, it's totally optional. You don't actually need to supply any of this stuff because it can be inferred automatically. So let's take a look at an example. Um, we're going to forward slash example here. And um, go. So this shows how to make a to-do app. Um, this is handling all of the data management for a client-side React application. So this is telling you how to, all the code that's needed to make all of the data handling for your to-do application. That's all. Uh, you don't need to tell it how to update the state. It will infer that automatically. It'll create all of these functions for you automatically. Um, all we had to do here is kind of define the interface for the function, but not actually supply any function definition. And it will infer the function definitions. Um, so let me just show you how that works. Uh, we can literally just copy and paste this, this last line here. And it'll generate all of the required JavaScript. So I'm going to do that. All right, so it imported the library we asked it to use. It's created our types for our action creators. The reducer, it created all of the state update logic for the reducer in a flash really fast, right? Um, so this is create, delete, and toggle, um, toggle complete. All that looks correct to me. The payload is an ID, so it's just checking the ID against the payload ID uh, to make sure that it matches the right one. And then here we have our selectors, and it's selecting the correct um, slice of the global state uh, as, as it should. Um, it even created our store for our root reducer um, for us because we didn't have one yet. Um, and then it created a connected container component for our to-do list, which is pretty great. Um, does the map state to props and map dispatch to props thing for you. So you don't even have to hook it up to your React component because it gives you all the connection and wiring that you need to get up to your React component. And then it shows you how to use your React component. We could ask it to finish this React component if we wanted to. I have another program that 
applies to your style guides and all of your uh, UI library stuff so that you can make React code that matches your code base's uh, style and, and um, all of your programming conventions and stuff like that. So we can write little programs like this um, that are small enough to paste in a page of text. And um, from that, we can use those guidelines from that to produce entire programs that totally match the style and the expected quality of the same kind of code that you would expect a senior JavaScript engineer to write. Um, so really, really excellent. Uh, we could even tell it to modify this a little bit. So let's say we want to make this to-do list part of a broader system that has goals. So what we can do is we can say, um, revise to-do ducks in uh, pseudoling. We're going to say, add a goal feature. Combine. Um, so the goal is going to have a to-do list associated with it. So um, each goal will have an associated to-do list. And then uh, we can tell it, combine both the goal and the to-do goals and to-dos in the same reducer, on the same docs, object, using the same reducer. All right, so we tell it that. It's going to update our, there we go. So here it's actually producing the pseudo link that defines what we're doing. So it's going to have create goal, delete goal, add to do to goal. Right, remove to do from goal. That's nice. Um, it looks like, did it get toggle? Is there a way to toggle? Um, create, delete, toggle. Create, delete, add to do to goal, remove to do from goal. Um, yeah, toggle complete is there. So we're good. So now we should just be able to run transpile and get this new feature completely built out for us. Looking good. We've got our create to do, delete, toggle complete. We can create goals, we can delete goals, add a to do to a goal, remove one from a goal. Good. So it looks like our state has to do's and goals. And then the to do is going to be associated with the goal by a goal ID, it looks like. So um, yeah, you can see that here. So there we go. All the logic is implemented in just a few seconds. Um, we can also ask for a full suite of unit tests. Uh, like I said, I have another program that um, that will do the React components for you, complete with your styles and everything. Uh, in fact, uh, that program created the best chat interface I've ever seen. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, complete with really cool animations, uh, very nice. Um, so it can really produce an entire application uh, in days that would have taken weeks before. And um, on the... Um, even before you get to the coding stage, one of the most important things is to figure out what you're building. I have another program that does that. It just interviews you and gathers user stories and stuff like that and creates a, a user journey map with your user stories. And then it can translate those user stories into uh, specifications for um, for tickets that can go into, uh, into GitHub issues or uh, Trello or whatever your issue manager is. And, um, and it'll have like a checklist for a definition of done and stuff like that. And you can feed those tickets into this and tell it to build this according to those tickets, build this to do ducks or, or build 
a docs object according to those tickets to do the data management part. And then you can do the same thing with the, uh, the UI part. So you can go from an app idea to a complete deployed app in a matter of days or weeks instead of months or years. So it's a huge productivity boost and people who are not using AI driven development today are really going to fall behind very quickly. So get on it <laughs> and, uh, and enjoy. Um, that's all I got for you today. <laughs>